Good morning. It's Saturday, November 12th, and you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9 awaiting its 11.06 a.m. Eastern Time launch from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Welcome to our live coverage of the Galaxy 31 and Galaxy 32 mission for our customer Intelsat. Today's launch marks our 190th mission overall to date, or to date and our 52nd launch this year. Today's booster is flying for its 14th time, previously having supported Dragon's first crew demonstration mission, the Radar Site Constellation mission, Sirius XM-7, and 10 previous Starlink missions. If you look closely at this rocket, you see that we don't have any landing legs here or grid fins, in fact, on this first stage, and that's because we won't be attempting to land this first stage today. Today's mission requires additional propellant that we would normally use for recovery, and so we're going to be using that propellant to take the payloads to orbit. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of Intelsat Galaxy 31 and 32. Go Falcon 9. Vehicles pitching downrange. And more the chamber pressure throttle. because a rocket needs to go about 17,500 miles an hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back to planet Earth. So we'll keep speeding up the vehicle to get to orbit. Now coming up in about a minute, we've got three back events back to back. That is main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then second engine start number one. Main engine cutoff is where we'll shut down all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. That's in preparation for stage separation where the, the first stage will push off the second stage and then second engine start number one where we'll ignite, ignite the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. So again, Miko, main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation and then SES-1 and gotta love those beautiful views. This is a view from the first stage camera looking down the body of the first stage towards planet Earth. You can see the Merlin 1D's plume expanding as the density gets less and less. So Miko stage step and second engine start complete. Now coming up next in about 20 or so seconds will be fairing separation. Again, both of these fairing halves having flown five times before today's mission. views of planet Earth behind the Merlin vacuum engine. Bearing separation 